So I asked on my Facebook page if a few of you would be interested in a kind of organisation type of video and loads of people said yes which I was really surprised about because it's not the most interesting topic but I'm going to focus today on organisation tips when it comes to beauty products. So having a lot of beauty products, how that means um, kind of adapting your organisation skills and your organisation tips and just little things that I found that have been very helpful for me. Now I have got a lot of products. Um, I've probably got more than the average person, that's not me bragging, it's just that I review a lot of products, I test a lot of products, I buy a lot of products for video purposes, so I have got more products than the average person and housing those products can be very difficult. I have done a kind of makeup um, collection and storage type of video if you want to go and have a look at that that should kind of give you a little bit of information as well but I also definitely feel like um, I've found quite a few little tips and tricks that I find really help me when it comes to organising things and not just beauty things, things in general but I'm going to start with the beauty things. So the first thing that I find really really helpful is if you are someone that tries a lot of new products and you buy products and they just kind of get put away and you forget about them and you don't rotate your products enough is to keep a little box on your vanity or your storage or whatever you use this is just the one I'm using, it's just an old glossy box and in here I keep products that I'm either using at the moment or trying out and that way I can look at the box and I can sort of see right what's in here, what am I using, um, what do I want to talk about, what have I not reviewed yet, samples, that kind of thing. So I've got some eyeshadows in here, um, a couple of new products that I want to mention in videos, some um, things that I kind of want to get back into using so like the kind of beauty blender and that type of thing and these are all just things that I like to keep at hand so that I always know where they are. The next thing is to keep your kind of essentials organised nicely but in a pretty way so things like cotton buds and um, cotton wool pads. It's very important to use them and I like to keep them kind of looking nice but so they're organised. I like to use these little glass jars. This is just from a charity shop and it's just this kind of riveted glass jar and in here I keep my cotton wool pads. So it's great because I can just get them and they still look pretty and you don't mind them being out. And then here I've got my cotton buds and this is an old candle jar. I love this jar. It's an old aromatherapy associates candle and it just kind of it's slightly clouded and I just think it looks really pretty and it's a nice way to keep things organized. Another thing that I love and I have these scattered all around my house is little bowls. So we have one on the kitchen table that houses paperwork and keys and that kind of thing and then we have one on the counter that kind of houses like little bits and bobs, safety pins, that kind of thing. I have them everywhere and they're just handy to have and I have this one in my bathroom which has this kind of little things I've been using and if I take my jewellery off in the bathroom I tend to put it in here and this is just this kind of pretty, I'll take what's in it out so you can see but it's just this kind of pretty rose printed bowl which my sister bought me for my birthday or for Christmas I think and I keep kind of things like hair clips, tweezers, um, a hair donut that I used last night so kind of things that I used and they're just in that bowl versus being scattered all over the house and I find that that's much more helpful. Then I like to keep kind of essentials in terms of products kept away, things that you don't want kind of out and about. So things like perfume for example I do like being on display because they're very pretty but some things you just want them kind of put away and I like to keep my um, kind of nighttime essentials in these little cute boxes. So I've just got this one right here. This has a body butter in it and I used it all up and I just really like the design of it so I just keep kind of little essentials so my molten brown pillow mist, a spot treatment, lana lips, just kind of those things so they're not lying around everywhere and they just look pretty and they're put away and then I've got another one right here which was a um it came with a mug I think and it's just a beautiful Marilyn Monroe box and I like to just keep my kind of again sort of nighttime essentials so I've got like a body butter hand cream um, sheer butter that kind of thing and they just sit away in these boxes they're tucked away they're easy to kind of conceal and they still look pretty because I like things to be organized but to look pretty at the same time that's something that's very important to me personally so I definitely like to make sure that things are kind of organized in that manner if that makes sense and I also like to kind of try and not keep things that I know I'm never going to use so if you do kind of hoard products which is something that a lot of us tend to do 
try and give away things that you know you're not going to use i tend to give them away to kind of friends and family if it's something i'm not going to use um or if you've got products that you think other people would really like so you could sell them kind of have like a little blog sale or something like that i've got a blog sale going on at the moment um and i've sold quite a few bits from it a lot of mac lipsticks that i just never ever wore got sold and an estee lord's a foundation and i've got a bunch of stuff on there that i don't use that's in really good condition that i'm selling so i'll put a link to that in the down bar if you want to go and have a look I've still got some like MAC lip glosses on there and stuff like that I think but don't keep things just for the sake of keeping them if it's not something that you really will use get rid of it there's no point in kind of hoarding makeup um, I do tend to kind of try things and if I think I'm going to get use of it or if I'm going to use it in a video then I keep it if I know I'm not going to I do tend to just get rid of it because there's no point in keeping it um, in terms of kind of keeping your house tidy a lot of people kind of wanted to me to talk about that um, I have days where I clean and then the rest of the time I just do slight cleaning so I'm very much a person who I like to have like a big clean and then not worry about it for much after that that's just kind of how I enjoy doing it so I have a big massive clean usually on a Friday because I'm usually out at the weekends and I don't want to have to kind of worry about it um, and there's no one at home on the weekends to kind of mess it up normally anyway so I'll have a big massive clean on a Friday evening kind of wash the floors, hoover, tidy up everywhere um, clean bathrooms, I am a little bit obsessed about the bathroom being clean I need the bathroom to be clean, I hate my bathroom being dirty and um, I kind of put bleach everywhere and clean it really properly and then just kind of small things so like wiping the table after you've eaten your food is really important because you're getting rid of all the crumbs um the odd bit of hoovering and that kind of thing but generally i tend to kind of do a big clean and then kind of top up during the week maybe like on a tuesday or something i'll hoover we don't have pets or anything like that so you don't need to hoover tons and we've got wooden flooring downstairs so you don't need to do that too much either then in terms of bedding and that kind of thing i change the sheets once every sort of two weeks maybe a bit like a bit more a bit sooner than that but generally speaking like that I like having clean sheets um and I like the bedroom to be tidy that's something that I kind of I get a little bit stressed if my bedroom isn't tidied up but I like that um having kind of like little nice bits and bobs is really important as well so kind of when it comes to home decor I like kind of things that are a little bit different and I don't have a particular style. I do like very shabby chic things, but I don't like everything being white, and I do like the odd bit of like modern art and that kind of thing. So it's something that I am quite interested in, and I tend to kind of go. Um, I don't go with a theme, and I don't like things being very, very perfect. So I don't like all my furniture matching too much and that kind of thing. But I know that a lot of people had asked me about kind of the bedroom furniture, and the bedroom furniture was actually really great. If you want me to kind of do like home decor on a budget or something, maybe I could do that because the bedroom furniture is all new we bought it all apart from the bed when we moved into this house and um we'd spent loads of money on everything else in the house so we didn't want to spend too much and we did it on a great budget and I'm really pleased with how our bedrooms turned out kind of the cabinets behind me were all from Ikea and they were I think £20 each and we've got four of them and then the little bedside cabinets as well and my dresser um, we I just did it on a really kind of low budget and I love how it looks and it's kind of very wooden and calm it's a very calm bedroom which I really like but those are kind of the top tips that I can think of it was kind of difficult to try and come up with things but I like to just keep things kind of put away and organized but still accessible and I've written a couple of notes I'm just looking trying to see if I have missed anything but no I've kind of touched on everything I wanted to talk about so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big big thumbs up and definitely let me know if you want me to do more of these or if you want any particular topics um, because it's kind of a strange thing but a lot of people did say that they wanted to see it so that's um, quite interesting but I hope you enjoyed it like I said and I will see you all in my next one bye